been trying to find the oldest ship or blueprint on space engineers and I finally got it. The first date that people were able to upload things to the space engineers workshop was October 26, 2013. And on that date alone, there were seven pages of items that were uploaded to the space engineers steam workshop page. And out of all of them, the oldest was the first thing ever to be uploaded to the space engineers steam workshop was a parking lot. Ah, <laughs> uh, alright, I guess we're gonna check it out. I think this one is uploaded by one of the developers. Someone's been here before me. Oh, the thing was a world. It wasn't a blueprint. Alright, I'm gonna open the world and then we're gonna spawn in the oldest ship and blueprint as well in that world. Alright, here goes the oldest space engineer's workshop item. No! Oh wait, I think it's still gonna work. Yeah. It's working! <laughs> no! Uh, I guess we won't be able to see that, but we'll still be able to see the oldest blueprint and the oldest ship that's been posted on the Space Engineers Workshop, at least. Oh no, like all of these are posted as worlds? So the oldest space engineers workshop items are all posted as worlds, so we cannot load them. Alright, then we need to find the oldest thing that is not posted as worlds. Alright, so the oldest blueprint that we can download from the space engineers workshop is the NERF headquarters by Dark Catalyst. Alright, let's spawn it in now. This is from July 4th, 2014. I think it was modded as well. Oh, that's pretty big. <laughs> Alright. The first ever Space Engineers blueprint that we can download. That's pretty broken. There we go. Huh. Are those like docking ports? Oh yeah, this must be docking ports. It's not powered? There you go. Hmm. This is pretty interesting. So this is from Evangelion, right? Hmm. So I think it doesn't really serve any practical function other than just for the look. Let's check the pyramid now. Alright, where's the entrance? Oh, it's empty. There's nothing in here. Other than a light. Alright, well, this is the first ever Space Engineers Blueprint on the Space Engineers Workshop that you can download as Blueprint and not like World. Let's find the first ship that we can download now. Alright, so this is the first ever Space Engineers blueprint ship that you can download which is the ultra compact mini drill ship by screaming angels let's test this out oh, so this does work very nicely there's a landing gear on the back here for docking i would honestly just delete this oh uh, yeah i know this is not a review but ah uh, you know, because they use a PC. There's an ejector here, injectors, small cargo containers. That's pretty interesting. They have lights as well. There you go. So it's a pretty functional ship. I like it. 
I do wish it has a connector though, because you cannot truly really connect it to a base like this, at least the conveyor. Maybe they use the ejector, I'm not sure. Alright, let's see the first large ship that we can download now. Alright, so this is the Blade Runner by Blade Darkhold. Oh, uh, I think that's piston and rotor, I'm not sure. So this is the first ever large grid ship that we can download as a blueprint from the Space Engineers Workshop. There's some solar panels here. I, I'm not sure what. I think these are like aesthetic thingy. Alright, let's check upstairs now. These are some very interesting nacelles. There's some thrusters in there. There's some weapons. I'll look at all the iron thrusters. And the old like space engineers paint. It's all very classic looking. Here's the back of the ship. Let's let's find the entrance. Uh, where's the entrance? Oh, is that they have a rotor turret? I guess that's what makes the build kind of clangy, the rotor turret. Alright, where's the entrance to the ship? Uh, oh, I think I think the whole section here is the entrance. I thought this was like a bridge, but it's actually an empty space. Huh. So this whole thing here is a gate. I'm gonna try to open it. No. Wait, how do we open this? Oh, there's sensors. So, if we get close to this, it didn't open. Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna teleport inside. There we go. We're inside the ship now. So, it's pretty much empty. There's a welder here. Uh, wait. This is the correct orientation of the ship. Hmm. <clears throat> There's some grinders here, so I think this is some kind of like a salvage factory ship. Alright, let's go downstairs. There's a control seat here. Gyroscopes. Batteries and gyroscopes. More gyroscopes, interior turrets, medical room, some buttons there. Mm -hmm. Oh, some things are damaged there, I think. No, actually. Hmm. So there's not a lot going on here. There's large cargo containers and in here is a mirror now it's kind of different so i think this is the main control room oh that's pretty cool so the ship is like asymmetrical design let's try to fly it now oh wow this certainly feels different so your bridge is all the way to the right there and the whole ship is meant to be flown like this the orientation and stuff it's very heavy like even with all those gyroscopes it's very hard for me to roll the ship there's there's refineries and assemblers Oh, this is good but yeah it's certainly a very old design there's no air tightness and stuff which is fine it's like a pretty old ship you know it's meant for space only i think this was before planets were even in the game oh something just i don't know so yeah, these are the oldest uh, items and blueprints 
on the workshop on the space engineers workshop that you can download and the ones that you cannot really download and use as well I mean you can still download them but there's some compatibility issue if you want to load the world and stuff all right let's crash this now oh no no wait I'm gonna crash this on a planet so it's gonna meet something that it's not meant to meet all right here it goes I'm gonna cross it on the front. Ah! Uh, oh! I think that kind of destroyed the whole jet. Oh no! They're pretty much intact, surprisingly. So, uh, you can find the links to the things that I've shown in this video in the description below. Oh wow! That did open the gate. 